It says, so they are no longer two, he says, but one. Therefore, what God joins together, let no man put asunder. In my book out there on singleness, make sure I get a copy. Everyone, I bought enough for everybody, I think. Make sure I get a copy. I do a whole chapter on who God marries. Because God doesn't marry everybody. Look at that verse. Whom means there's a distinction somewhere. <laughs> what God joined, what means there's some, some that he doesn't. Sometimes it's better for people to go downtown to the registrar and get married. They come down the aisle in a church and they are defects. And they want the pastor to work a miracle. You know the brother ain't saved, but you 50 and you're scared. You know this girl ain't right. But you want someone to call wife. And you want the pastor to work a miracle in one hour. Write this down. If he doesn't change to get you, he won't change to keep you. We got this idea that they'll change. Well, you already compromised. Why should they change? You've lowered your standards. You've reduced your value. Why should I change to keep you if I got you with my low value? Very important. Watch Jesus now. Verse 9. Anyone who divorces his wife except for marital unfaithfulness and marries another woman commits adultery. I don't want to get into that, but that's a deep one. Oh, I need to come back and teach on just that. Because that is so difficult in the church today. Verse 10. The disciples said to him, and watch the disciples now. This verse 10 is interesting. The disciples said to him, if that is the situation between a man and a woman and his wife, it is better not to marry. That's in the Bible. See, the disciples understood what he said, and you don't. Let me give you a hint of what he said, because some of you still need to hear this. He said, you should, he said, there's only one reason why God in heaven allows divorce. Only one. And it's adultery. Now watch this. Therefore, God has no tolerance of these statements. I don't love him anymore. We grew apart. We're not close anymore. I don't like him anymore. I think she's gone crazy now. I lost my love for her. We just went apart. Let me tell you how dangerous that is. If you get a divorce for any other purpose than adultery, in heaven, you are still married. This is a tough part of the session. That's why if you get a divorce for any reason other than adultery, you're still married in God's sight. So if you go with someone else, he says, you cause them to commit adultery because they are going with a married person even though you think you are separated. Words of Jesus. When the disciples understood that, in other words, once you get into it, you are locked unless the person commits adultery. If they curse you, spit on you, beat you, cuss you, slap you, now listen to me, I don't agree with that stuff, okay? And I will advise you to leave the home. That would be my counsel as a pastor. Because you're not supposed to be abused. But even if you leave the home and go live by yourself or with your mama, you are still married. Y'all don't want the word. Y'all want someone to give you permission to do sin. And I ain't got no interest in sin. And so you separate from your husband or your wife because of some problem. Other than divorce, as far as God is concerned, you are still married. And that's why Paul says, if you separate, you must remain alone. And so you've been separated for 10 years. And your spouse, who you are married to, with whom you are not living with, has not committed adultery yet. Then you are still married. So when someone winks at you in the church, in the choir, you must say, pardon me, I'm married still. And what are you waiting for? Waiting for my spouse to commit adultery. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> you see, the moment that they commit adultery, 
the covenant is broken so you are free Paul says to marry again everybody say Phew. now you feel better now but if they didn't commit adultery you are locked into that union in heaven that's why that disciple says if that is the case then it's better not to get into it that is why marriage is called an institution thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you god locks you in throws away the key tell your neighbor i'm gonna slow down right now Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them. Thank you.